I have about 3,000 square feet. The whole floor is 5,000. Are there any other artists left in the building, or is it just you? I think it's just me. <laughs> My name is Claire Ferguson. Claire Eleanor Ferguson. <laughs> Originally, a couple was in here and they broke up. The woman that was in the back area took on Lynn and me and we built the wall, you know, put in the electricity and we turned the men and ladies room into the, one was the toilet and one was the shower. Like we managed to squeeze one of the, those cheap showers in there. So this allowed us to maintain the largest space as possible because we were all artists. That was 1974. I started off sort of when conceptual art was the rage. And also I was in the woman's movement. So I started by using myself as the subject matter. These photographs over here are some of my early black and white photographs where I put my body in relation to other objects. This led into my performance art. I ran into Jackie Apple at Max Gimblet's on Friday night at a party. She said, oh, you've got to do a live performance. And I realized right away, I, yeah, I had to. That's okay. <laughs> Whatever you're doing is fine. Okay, great. And then look slightly towards the window for me again. Yes, perfect. This is great. One thing, it was a lot of women, you know, like this was three women on this floor, two women on the sixth floor. The factories went on for a long time so that it was half and half. The floor below me was a paintbrush factory. The floor above me put lines on paper before they had offset printing. And, and they had a guillotine that cut through the reams of paper every morning at 6 a.m. They would turn it on and it was this noise, like, you know, and then we had the discotheque down on the ground floor that went until 4 a.m. in the morning. So you had two hours in between these, you know, noise events. <laughs> but luckily it wasn't the second floor where they could not go to sleep until 4 a.m. <laughs> also, touching his side, he was on the second floor. After the paintbrush factory moved out of the second floor, he moved in there and he did his first one year in a cage performance on the second floor. Also, I don't know for sure what was here, though we like to say it was a pickle factory. <laughs> Just for the humor. <laughs> I'm more like paint out on the fire escape, it's like, or paint on the ground, or, oh. you know. And what is this door to? So this is an old elevator shaft that uh, is... The elevator used to be one of those freight elevators. So you could buzz for it and Francisco would come down <laughs> and the elevator doors opened into my space, you know, my section, because we divided it up into three sections. Storage and... I love a shot of you in there. Oh, okay. All right, three, two, one. I had my, the Claire Ferguson School for Silk Screening, and that's how I supported myself, along with doing fine art prints for artists. So I had these classes in the evening a couple of times a week. I was a master silk screen printer at that time, so I could really, you know, do this inc incredible prints for artists. And I gave that up because of, you know, it's bad for your health. <laughs> I used to have all the prints hanging around, you know, drying, and the, they're all this the oil. That's just store it. You gotta think of a way to get photos here. That's great. <laughs> I 
having this space over the years has totally allowed me the freedom to go in whatever direction I felt like. First of all, you, you know, you have all the materials that you need. I make these handmade little cards that say, you know, WBAI.org and 99.5 FM and listen and support the people's radio station since 1949. So I hand out thousands of these. It's sort of an extension of performance art because I call out as people go by, as my friend said, I don't think I could do that. Once you just decide to do it, it's not hard. But it is getting past that personal thing where we're like too proud or, and you know, it does annoy some people, and, but other people, it inspires them. So it goes both ways. You know, also my cards, especially at Valentine's Day or, or Mother's Day or Father's Day, then people go crazy getting these cards. But, but even apart from that, it's a continual interaction with people one-to-one, -one, you know. I'm realizing I have to get my Valentine's cards <laughs> up and going because I, I used to have to come in at night for, I did it like the four days prior to Valentine's Day. And I'd have to come in and just work like crazy making the cards so I'd have, you know, a supply for the next day. I think I'm gonna move the light over here and get a shot of you in front. This is also your painting? Yeah. Okay, wonderful. And then can I get a hand as well on the table? Yes. Perfect. And then look towards me. You know, I did have this sort of uh, difficult childhood on an extreme level. I won't go into that, but uh, when I learned about death, I was really upset and um, <laughs> to the point of being, you know, sick to your stomach, like, like kind of upset and where you got no help from anybody in terms of talking about it or even the culture that maybe accepts death and so it just came as a terrible shock. So at this very young age I tried to figure out first how to get around death but you know couldn't come up with anything. So then I realized that you know being famous was not really solving the problem but as best you could do. So then I wanted to get into the Bible to be famous, <laughs> but my mom told me that it had already been um, written and they weren't taking any additions. So <laughs> for me now being an artist, I don't really care so much about being famous, but because I have devoted my whole life to this activity and there's still the inevitable looming, <laughs> it's like I, I do, I am trying to consolidate it and put it into some form where it goes, you know, beyond my life, the work I've done. Claire Ferguson is one of 30 artists I photographed for my first photography book uh, documenting the last of New York City's original artist lofts. If you're interested in purchasing the book, the link is in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. There will be more videos soon.